dog thinks about a ball, what does she imagine? Maybe the shape of the ball, its smell, or the way the ball feels in her mouth? The senses dogs use to identify objects may influence the way these objects are represented in their mind. So, if we examine which senses dogs use when they're searching for an object, we can understand how they think about it. Some dogs have a unique talent for learning names of toys. What do these gifted word learner dogs think about when they hear the name of a toy? Does their mental image of a named toy include different senses? To test this, we first trained the typical family dogs and the gifted dogs to retrieve a toy that was placed among a few destructors. Then, we tested them under two conditions, with the lights on and also when it was completely dark. And yes, it was very dark. We also tested how the gifted dogs got their named toys with the lights on and off. We measured how long the dogs searched for their toys and found that all dogs searched longer in the dark. We counted the number of times dogs sniffed and for how long they did it and we found that they did so more in the dark. We assumed that when dogs see an object from far away, they approach it in a straight line. So, we counted the number of times the dogs approached the target object in a straight line and we found that they did so just a few times and only when the lights were on. When we compared the dog's performance, we found that both in the dark and light conditions, they almost always got the correct toy. And that there was no difference between the gifted dogs and the typical dogs. Our results suggest that when dogs play with a toy, they pay attention to its features using different senses. The gifted dogs were able to retrieve the named toys upon hearing their owner's request, in the light and in the dark. This suggests that for the gifted dogs, hearing the name of a toy evokes a mental image that includes different senses.